Hello, an XCAM programmer. 5-axis milling, previously specific to high-end industries like aerospace and defense, has made its way into almost every machine shop. Now, many of us are tasked with producing 5-axis toolpaths. Let's talk about how we can use the NXCAM tilt tool axis command to produce a low input, high quality 5 axis toolpath that tilts and rotates to meet your tool, shank, and holder clearance requirements. After that, I'll share a user defined tilting technique that works great for convex features and enables you to exercise full control over your simultaneous 5 axis milling toolpath. Let's get started. Create operation. Type, mill contour. Subtype, the highly effective and widely adopted contour area operation. A program group. A ball and mill. Geometry is mill area, the child of workpiece whose part is specified. Method is nonspecific. Select OK. Head to the geometry node. See the inherited cut area. Expand non-cutting moves and select Engage. Arc normal to tool axis will work better for multi-axis applications. Select Generate. An error message. Portions of the toolpath have been trimmed and should be cut with another operation. Portions of the toolpath have indeed been trimmed. Head to collision check. Deselect check tool holder and check for non cutting collisions. Select generate. The entire cut area is being machined, but not safely. Select OK. Right click the operation. Find Toolpath. Tilt Tool Axis. Keep Original invokes NXCAM's automatic tool tilt. To mitigate undesirable behavior, select the Collision Check Avoidance tab. Increase the inherited tool holder collision value and expand the inputs group. Decrease the max increase and max decrease in rotation to 10. Reduce the max increase and max decrease in tilt to roughly half of your swivel's value. In the Machine Tool Characteristics tab, reduce the swinging tilting axis limits value directly to your machine's limits. Reduce the max step. Select OK. A toolpath is generated. Let's select a line that looks like it's down the part approximately the length of the tool stick out to see if the Keep Original Tilting method really only tilts where it needs to. Right view, play animation. As the Z depth approaches the tool stick out value, we'll see the tool begin to slightly tilt away from the part. As the Z depth gets deeper, the tilt value will increase. Next, let's work on a technique to exercise more control over the tilting behavior. Remember, before switching 
tilting and rotating techniques, the base operation must be regenerated. Generate. Overwrite path. Enter the Tilt Tool Axis dialog. Tilting tab. Manual tilting. User defined. The reference axis is best left at the base operations tool axis. Tool tilt method. The methods are fixed, toward curve, away from curve, toward point, and away from point. Select away from curve. It's my experience that away methods work better for convex features, while toward methods work better for concave features. And select curve, you'll see that I've made visible a curve that is simply collinear with the z-axis, with the base operation's original tool axis. For shortest distance, select 3D. The 3D shortest distance works better for simultaneous 5-axis operations, while a 2D shorter distance works better for positional plus 1 or plus 2 axes operations. Tilt rule ought to match tool tilt method. For tilt angle, enter the value 55. Tilt angle is measured from the XC axis, and I am shooting for a 35 degree tilt from the original tool axis. In the collision and avoidance tab, we see that all of our values are maintained, along with the machine tool characteristics tab. Select OK. A toolpath is generated. Let's observe the behavior of the toolpath. We'll select a point kind of close to where we selected last time, where the tool stick out is approaching a collision with the top of the part. We notice immediately that our tool axis is tilted. Let's select a higher point. Still, our tool axis is tilted. Our user defined method created a constant tilt throughout the entire toolpath. We see a nice smooth motion.